Hi, I'm Jason Hurtis, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to optimize production and fuel efficiency for your wheel loader. Did you know in a production wheel loader, fuel costs represent roughly 30 to 60 percent of your operating costs? That's why it's essential for us to train operators in features and techniques to improve their efficiencies, because even a small gain can make a huge impact. Suppose, for example, we got a nice big pile of loose rock. So I have a wheel loader here, and I have a truck here. Now to get the most out of this system, you want to take that truck and place it as close to the loader as possible. And you also want to rotate that at 30 to 45 degrees, right about there, for maximum efficiency. For the wheel loader, you want it to approach the face or the stockpile as square as possible, back out, change direction, and again approach that truck as square as possible back away from the truck and back to the face or the stockpile square. I'm going to show you that again and I want you to watch the tight V pattern this loader performs. Backs away from the stockpile, changes direction, approaches the truck square, reverses, back square to the stockpile. Another good rule of thumb is in this motion that wheel loader should be performing one and a half tire revolutions in reverse, one and a half tire revolutions forward to the truck and again repeat that process. On good conditions, on good ground, I would expect an operator to be able to complete this V pattern in 30 seconds or less. Okay, do some math with me here. Assuming that there's a 50 minute working hour, we should be able to load 133 trucks in a four hour period. Let's assume that your trucks aren't properly spotted and that increases the loader cycle time by six seconds. So in that same 50 minute working hour, and that four hour time period, either in the morning or in the afternoon, we're only able to load 111 trucks, which is 22 trucks less than before using the same amount of fuel and the same amount of time. But don't worry, Caterpillar has technologies that can help you maximize your fuel efficiency. Caterpillar wheel loaders have a feature called Eco Mode. The Eco Mode system automatically and consistently monitors the powertrain system and will make adjustments to the powertrain system based on the application. No input from the operator is required. No change to the operator technique is required. Let me show you how that technology works. Okay, let's go ahead and climb inside this cab and turn on Eco Mode. In this particular machine, you'll find Eco Mode in a bank of switches over here. Let me zoom up on that. The Eco Mode button is located right here, and if I press that button once, Eco Mode is now turned on. I can go back to my normal operation, and the operator runs normally. Eco Mode takes care of the systems itself. Now let's get back to the job site and see how that works. Okay, let's recall our scene, and we'll look at Eco Mode again. As that wheel loader goes into the dig segment, Eco Mode provides the maximum power and performance for that wheel loader. As it backs away from the pile or goes into the non-dig segment or down to the truck, Eco Mode provides the most efficient hydraulic and fuel efficiency performance. By using the truck positioning techniques and wheel loader features that we've shown you here today, you can save up to 20% on fuel. Efficiency is a game of inches, and every gain in efficiency goes right to your bottom line. Now that's a huge advantage. Thank you.